This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos on Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Merry Christmas Mr. Lawrence on the piano. It's a very beautiful theme, a piano theme. Give you a preview before we start learning it. Here we go. You guys right, you repeat it like that. Okay, but anyway, very beautiful. Let's go ahead and learn it. We'll break it up into eight parts, it's easy to learn. So the first part, right hand starts with the F up here, middle C, go up an octave C, go up another octave C, up to the high F here. So if you have a smaller piano and don't have that many keys, just do it lower, okay? But anyways, here we go. So starting on the F, E flat, F, up to B flat, F, E flat, and repeat that six note phrase for a second time. F, E flat, F, B flat, F, E flat. And that's it for this first part, right hand. Okay, the six notes play twice. So this two, like that, is like a pattern. Okay, so you have to coordinate your fingers. Okay, can be a little bit confusing if you're new, but just practice it slowly and build up the speed. Left hand, we have G flat major chord, D e flat, B flat, D e flat. It's a fully black note chord. Okay, two hands together, just first note and the uh, like first note of both hands together. It's pretty much just like together. Most parts is like that, okay? So that's the first part. Okay, practice it a few times because later on, there's another part that's exactly the same as this first part. So, um, that's it for the first part. Moving on to the second part, right continues. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing, but replace all the B flats with A flats. So F, E flat, F, and A flat, F, E flat, F, E flat, F, A flat, F, E flat. E flat. So it's the same as the first part, but replace all the B flats with A flats, okay? That's a pattern for you to remember. Then the left hand, we have this next chord. It's like an A flat major chord with a fifth, but the, the G flat bass. You could G flat, A flat, C. Kind of like an A flat seven chord, but without the fifth. Okay. Then together it goes like this. It goes F and well, it's once again same thing. First note on both hands together. Now hold the chord as usual. Like that. That's it for the second part. So it's get on. All right. Moving on to the. Okay, back to back, the two parts we've learned so far will be played like this. Check it out. Moving on now to the third part, Ryan continues. E flat, D flat, E flat, A flat, E flat, D flat, E flat, D flat, E flat, A flat, E flat, D flat. All right. So like a sequence from the first part, you go down one, everything. So e flat, D flat, E flat, A flat, E flat, D flat, E flat, D flat. E flat, A flat, E flat, D. Okay, so a lot of flats, all of them are flats. Okay, left hand, we have the F minor chord, which is F, A flat, C. Okay, and mine two ends together goes like this once again. First chord, first note played together. Together, and hold. Like that, there you go. It's together. Now moving on to the, uh, actually, before that, back to back, the three parts of learned so far will be played like this. Moving now to the uh, fourth part, okay? Okay, so the fourth part, we go E flat, D flat, E flat, A flat, E flat, D flat, and then C, B flat, C, F, C, B flat, like that. And moving down again, okay? So more changes here, instead of repeating a six note phrase twice. E flat, D flat, E flat, A flat, E flat, D flat, C, B flat, C, F, C, B flat. That's it for the right hand and left hand. We have two chords, one is B flat minor seven, B flat, D flat, F, A flat. Then next chord, like this A flat major with six, A flat, C, flat, F. Yeah, so both are four note chords. 
E flat minor seven and then A flat major with flat. Okay, turn together goes like this. Actually, you don't have to do it with this chord. You can actually do this chord instead. A flat C D flat F. Okay, probably better that way. So B flat minor seven, then this uh, D flat major with C. Okay. Well, I guess it's D flat major seven. Second inversion. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. So these two chords instead. Okay. Okay. Turn together. It goes like this. So. Together. Together. If you like this chord better, it's okay as well. Up to you. So, do. Or you can do the other one I recommended. This. Yeah, the, the, what, the E flat there. Okay? So, yeah, back to back the four parts of Blown so far will be played like this. Oops. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, don't play the C before that. Okay? Yeah. Now, moving on to the fifth part. The fifth part is exactly the same as the first part. So, back to... No? And then, awesome thing, the sixth part is exactly the same as the second part as well. So, you know that as well. And now, the seventh and eighth part is different. Let's learn the seventh part now. So... And it goes E flat, D flat, E flat, up to the high C, back down to E flat, D flat, and then A flat, E flat, D flat, back up to the high C, E flat, D flat. I just like that. Let's learn it again. So it goes E flat, D flat, E flat, up to high C, E flat, D flat, A flat, E flat, D flat, C, E flat, D flat. A lot of E flat, D flats here. That time we have F minor, which you know, F, A flat, C, like that. Okay, turn together, just first chord, first note together. Like that, very simple, okay? So, alright, so let's learn the last part before recapping everything, okay? Uh, the Actually, the right hand is exactly the same as the seventh part just then, so the exact same, da, 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 exactly the same as the seventh part where we just learned. But just the left hand chord is different, just B flat minor seven, which you know, B flat, D flat, F, A flat. Okay, this chord we know from the fourth part, okay? It's just this chord by itself for this eighth part, so it just goes once again, first chord and first note. Yeah. That's it for the um, eighth and last part. Okay, so back to back, all eight parts of this lesson will be played like this. Just repeat. Yeah, okay. Okay, very beautiful theme, and you just repeat it and just like zone off into heaven, pretty much. Okay, very beautiful theme. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, by the way. If you want to learn other beautiful themes like this, search up your favorite song name followed by Amos Doll in the YouTube search to find those other lessons to learn for yourself. But as for now, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.